you know, I had a presentation, I have a day that in, I want you guys to stay engaged and excited, and I figured out that if I start like, next slide, next slide, then it's going to break the energy. So I know my story, so I'm going to deliver it to you without a bit. Um, in 15 minutes. So if anything, it's going to show my capacity to synthesize information because this is the seven years of um, Super Bowl story of Avocado Progress. So I started in the company in 2014, and um, I don't come from the first part category at all. I was I have been in American Airlines, um, Mahan Ericsson, International Advertising Agencies, Lintas, Hitler Clothing, etc. And the president um, of the, the Avocado from Mexico was putting together his executive team, they called me, I came and I asked, why me? I have no experience in the category. And he told me that, hey, that's exactly what I'm looking for. I'm looking for someone that has no experience in the category, but is very creative, innovative, and make me do what nobody else has done. And that conversation became kind of a mantra and the foundation of our from Mexico marketing that is what I'm doing right now. And I'm telling you this story because three years after, after the organization, the marketing organization in Dallas, Texas, was created, um, and, and we published an article three years later only um, about Avocado from Mexico. By the way, a brand that is not supposed to be a brand, because we live in a brandless category. But we started very early on building the brand. So I we published an article that says Avocado from Mexico boasts one of the most impressive races to prominence in the current marketing industry or in modern marketing industry. I'm trying to remember from my top of my head. <laughs> and that was that was a moment of pride. First of all, because we were noticed, but we were noticed in such a way. 2021, Avocado from Mexico became the most innovate among the most innovative companies in the world in the fast company list but even better top one most innovative brand in the branding category and again we were not even supposed to be a brand and if you see the brands that came uh, behind us in that list of 10 top 10 the second one was TikTok. of course that was 2021 i don't know if we will be <laughs> but the second one was TikTok that is, is, is creating the social media culture. And the third one was Impossible Food, that is reinventing the way we eat meat. So for Avocado from Mexico to brand, to be top one, was an incredible accomplishment. But let me tell you something. I think that that race to prominence that we was talking about, what started with our first Super Bowl spot, campaign that was launched in 2015. My first assignment, actually, I, I started in digital marketing for the organization. I started in September, the Super Bowl was in February, and my first assignment was create a Super Bowl digital campaign, whatever that meant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so I did, we end up this year as the top second best performing campaign after Procter & Gamble. And since then, we have had a wonderful story. Uh, the top one or two, top two the digital campaign for the Super Bowl for six consecutive years. And if, if you're following the news, last night, the drone published a story that I posted in my LinkedIn uh, profile that says that Meta, now we're from Mexico, actually, they say we're from Mexico first. We're from <laughs> Mexico and Meta are driving the social media conversation for the Super Bowl. That's huge. We could make, put my or entire company in one little room in Meta. <laughs> um, so for us to be in the same stage, in the same headline, is a huge accomplishment. But the reason why we have been able to be in that position is because from the beginning, we have the mindset of connectivity. And it's something that we're seeing in the industry today, the most progressive marketers, are getting moving away from the, the Super Bowl as a creative showcase for TV and are connecting and connecting. And the more you connect, 
the most, uh, the best performance uh, you have in your campaign. Just to show that level of connectivity that the industry is talking about right now, but we started in 2015. I'm going to show you one video. It's the case story of our Super Bowl 2018. We killed it. We were the most, <laughs> the most mentioned brand, the most shared logo. We dominated the conversation. Um, and this case story in two minutes will tell you what I can tell you in two hours. So let's watch the video. Close your eyes. Imagine a perfect world that seals the bad out and keeps the good in. That's what we did here at Avocados from Mexico. Pretty unbelievable, right? We created Guac World. Through Guac World's digital platform, users were free to roam around six magnificent locations and 14 perfectly crafted experiences. From Avocado Land's photo enhancers to Tabasco Flavor Town's recipe creator. Our 100,000 brand ambassadors recruited new members to guacworld.com, causing our loyal following to grow exponentially. We also combined the selfie and the emoji for the first time ever with Picmojis. These and other traffic dividers resulted in over 46 million video views and 1.7 million page views. And while the Guac World movement was taking off, the moment of truth occurred during the big game. People inside the stadium had access to our Snapchat geo filters, while we interacted with brands and users on social media in real time. Avocados from Mexico had the most shared logo on both Instagram and Twitter. Guac World was the most mentioned hashtag, and guac was the most used word across all big game conversation. We came out of the big game on top of the world. Avocados from Mexico was the number one brand in Merkel's Digital Bowl report, saw an increase in purchase consideration for a second year in a row, gained 4.5 billion impressions, and claimed their crown as the most talked about brand of the game for the second year in a row. Even after the big game had ended, our following continued to grow. I don't know if you realize this, you said avocados 10 times. 11 times, God. In the end, the members of Guac World lived happily ever after, knowing that once again, a little green fruit took on the big brands and won. Avocados from Mexico. So we started uh, with the Super Bowl in 2015. Um, again, very connected campaign. We um, took a break last year, 2020, and it was not because of the pandemic. It was because one thing that we fear as we grow out of that startup stage, because we were created in 2014 as a marketing group, is that we fear that at some point we're going to be thinking, let's keep doing this just because that's the way we have been doing it. So we took a step back and um, just reassess what are we doing this? What do we want to do with this? And how, where do we want to move it just to get, continue to be innovative? And I remember that um, before the Super Bowl last year, we had a visa campaign, but we didn't have this spot. I was listening to a podcast, a marketing podcast, and, um, and they were saying that, you know, they were discussing how we're still in 2021, there's that lack of connectivity um, across, you know, the, the different media and, and platforms and channel for the Super Bowl. But still in 2021, it continues to be a creative showcase when users and consumers really have their cell phone in their hands, uh, ready to do something, to take an action. And then they say that someday, one brand is going to change the rules of the game by connecting everything around in a more purposeful way for sales or performance. I remember I was walking, you know, remember that we were all like um, uh, working from home and, and I was uh, working around the lake and I saw a lot while I was working. Um, and, and I remember texting my CEO and I say, listen to this podcast, that has to be us. Um, so I have a, a year to think about this. And we came back to the Super Bowl with a revolutionary uh, marketing approach. I didn't invent it, uh, but it's a few people in the industry that the most progressive were already talking about. And I informed myself and educated myself. 
and, we're, and we were ready to launch a Super Bowl campaign with a new approach that we're calling, and everybody else that talks about it, brand formats, which is the combination of brand and performance. Because right now, we need to take that, the most valuable piece, marketing, um, I mean, I would say marketing asset, which is a Super Bowl spot, and just put it to use. Let's connect it. Let's connect it to the, the storefronts with the, the, the multiple retails of platforms. One whole prediction that I have is that in the future, in the near future, the brands are going to be built in the retail ecosystems. We saw those ecosystems, how they went from one vertical to one uh, platform and now to one ecosystem. So what, what we're doing this year, where all four branded assets are showable, even our Super Bowl that is uh, on, online, has a QR code in the entire adaptation to a storefront. We partner with Micmac, the e-commerce accelerator, and um, our entire campaign is showable. We have an, uh, we're blending digital words and physical work. We have an activation in New York City with 20 TikTok influencers just creating content. That content is going to have a link to the storefront. So a lot of things going on and, and hopefully I'm gonna have the opportunity to show you the case story once we have it. But just to close this, um, I'm going to leave you with our Super Bowl spot for this year. Uh, is rooted in an insight that avocados are so good so good for you, so good for your health, so such a good flavor that even the most chaotic, chaotic situations, when you add avocados, they get better. And this is in a um, tailgate in a Roman Coliseum that there was a chaos. Avocados came into the picture, everything is great. <laughs> This is officially the worst tailgate I've ever been to. Look at those barbarians. Later when they come to town. Well, tough, because we drove for three months in an ox cart with our kids to watch you get destroyed. Yeah, we made great time. I'm sorry, what are you doing? Adding avocados from Mexico. Want some? Let's kick this party up a notch. You know, they also taste great on salads. Yeah, Caesar, we get it. Like I salad. love salads. Avocados from Mexico.